It's hard to believe that even during a global health crisis that scammers are still trying to steal your money. The BBB says it's seeing a spike in coronavirus related scams. Team 12's Erica Stapleton is breaking down what you should look out for. A lot of people are trying to get their hands on one of these, a face mask or really anything that will make them feel safe right now. But because a lot of stores you'd normally shop at are out of product, a lot of people are looking online and running into deals that are too good to be true. Out of a wave of goodwill can come a stream of bad intentions. One Phoenix woman, part of a bigger group making masks for frontline workers, tells us she tried to buy elastic for masks on eBay. After she put in that order and paid the seller, she saw the red flags review after review, claiming the elastic won't be coming. And she's not alone. Businesses have been purchasing bulk items and in fact, fake products or absolutely nothing at all. So, Tira Terry with the Better Business Bureau says consumers and businesses alike are getting duped. They've had more than 250 reports of coronavirus related scams across the Southwest. One of the worst offenders, she says, a fake charity in California claiming they donate a mask to healthcare workers for every mask that's purchased. Anyone can create a product claim online. But that doesn't make it real. Just last week in Arizona, Attorney General Mark Burnovich busted businesses making questionable claims. He ordered a Phoenix drugstore to stop advertising products that would treat and prevent COVID-19 and a Chandler discount store to stop claiming they have, quote, instant immunity tablets to go along with their gas masks. You can't believe everything you read. Especially when a product is too good to be true. Before buying anything online, here's what you should do. Verify the seller by making sure they have a working phone number and an actual address for their business. And if it still seems sketchy, run it by the BBB for their seal of approval. In Phoenix, Erica Stapleton, 12 News.